What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. If you've already seen the first 100 days, this video is not for you. I'm just gonna make this quick and short because I know your guys' time is valuable. But pretty much if you did not watch season one, at the end of every 100 days, I like to compress all of them into one big video for you guys. As a lot of you guys ask for this and I know it's just a lot more simple to view and watch. So if you've already seen the first 100 days, you can go click off and watch something else. But if you're new here, welcome, relax, get some popcorn and get ready because this video is a long one. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today's a special video because we are starting up a Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. You guys have been wanting this for a while. So if you're new here, we're going to be starting over because the last world actually got corrupted tragically. We're just going to like forget about that, but let's continue. So game mode Hardcore, we got difficulty locked on hard. We're going to name this... Once Hap Hardcore Season 2. There we go. And for the seed of this video, in case you guys want to play in this world as well, I'm going to be using the seed Once Hap Hardcore. There we go, that's the seed. Everything else is just going to be left on default settings. And let's get straight into this world. I'm super excited. Whoa, this actually looks super nice. We got a little uh, river going on here. We have um, some nice mountains up there. Everything is still loading in. Back here, I think that looks like a plains biome. Hopefully it is. We got a forest. Pretty much everything we need. This is amazing. Seed, once again, is one tap hardcore. All lowercase, no spaces. So, yeah, go ahead and use that if you want. Oh, and there's a turtle! I've never seen one of these before. That's actually so sick. Alright, I'm having some good feelings about this world already. Yeah, we have we have some turtles living here. I don't know what to do with these guys. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep them here for now. I don't wanna hurt these guys, so I'm just gonna try to be careful. All right, I know I should be getting a tree first, but you know, I'm just gonna kill this sheep because I want the wool. So I should be able to get my bed right away, so there should be no, like, monsters in our first night. Should be chilling. If this is the first video that you've seen on my channel, I just want to say this series is a mix between Luke the Notable's original hardcore Minecraft series, where he, like, briefly voiceovers each day. Mine is, like, a mix of that because I do that for some parts. I also have a little bit of a Let's Play component in it as well because I believe, like, I don't know, you kind of get to see the world more and... You just get more in depth with the world when it's more of a let's play because it goes by way too fast when you just kind of voice over what happens in a couple of seconds for each day. So since that this is season two, I'm going to try to take things differently. I'm going to actually try to take my time, enjoy the game, you know. You know, at the end, we're all just here to have fun. So hopefully I can provide you guys some entertainment. Ooh, we already got our first pieces of the coal, not too long. Now we on to our stone pickaxe, let's go. Okay, I don't want to bore you guys with all this mining, but pretty much I just did what everybody would do on their first day in a new world. Just gathered up some wood and just mined some stone. Now it's a new day and I've got a little bit of stuff to get going. I need food though, because I'm, I'm getting really hungry. Oh hey, there's a bee over there. Oh, and I should also mention this. I am using uh, BSL shaders right now along with a texture pack called Better Leaves 1.14. Yeah, uh, that is the texture pack, Better Leaves V2 1.14+. Alright, well for now, I'm gonna set up shop just so I can like settle down and put some things down. Okay, I need some food badly, so I'm just gonna kill one of these guys and eat its mutton. Alright, right now I'm kind of starving to death, but we got four cooked buttons, so we should be chilling. And there we go, we can finally run again and now we can get full health. I'm gonna kill one more of these guys just so I can get their mutton. These sheep are the only kind of animal that we have around right now. Yeah, well, I smelted a lot of my iron that I got, even upgraded to an iron pickaxe, and I think it is now time for some armor, I guess, because it is hardcore and we do not want to be dying. I think I should have enough for a full set, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And also a farm, I should probably start up a farm too. I need to craft a hoe. Yeah, that place is just gonna be our little, like, chill place for now where we can just settle down until I find myself more of a permanent home. I'm gonna just create a tiny little farm, I'm just gonna put it back here. Alright, hopefully we have some seeds in here. And we have one single seed. Alright, that's gonna have to do for now. There we go, we got the CD place achievement. On day four, I started digging out a side of a little hill where this can be like our kind of base for now. Alright, so I just want to check in with you guys. There's a lot of mo Oh, there's three creeper- four creepers right there and uh, we got some zombies chasing me. I kind of got this built so far into the wall. Oh, oh my lord, I gotta run right now. Hold up, guys. There are mobs every- oh my- maybe I should just go into the ground. I'm not trying to die on day five already. Oh, another creeper! That exploded. We're gonna- we're gonna fix that later. Oh, this is my first mine. Okay, let's let's chill down here for a while while we wait. I did- I left this iron here. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna come back and I just never did. Alright, well, time to pass the night in here. On day five, I went back, patched up the creeper hole, and then continued working on my little hideout base kind of thing. It is now day 7, and the house is almost pretty much done on the exterior at least. 
it was kind of hard to plan out like a starter base since I don't really build starter bases, but I think this one turned out pretty good though. I went back down into the mines on day 8 because I decided I need to go and mine some more because we are not very far in our tools, we still have a lot of stone tools, and then I can go back to building. Yeah, and I just did a lot of boring digging, like just digging a staircase down, hopefully I can find some like gold, redstone, maybe even diamonds. After a little bit of mining down that staircase, I eventually came across a ravine, and it looks pretty nice, I already saw some iron ore, should be interesting. Okay, so I was mining this coal right here, and my pickaxe actually broke right in the middle, kind of annoying. But I think it's probably time for me to go back. I think the pickaxe breaking was just telling me I had to go back up to the surface now. Then all of a sudden I hear a creeper drop behind me, and it was super close, but I managed to kill him. That critical hit at the last second kind of clutched up. That was a close one. On the way out I realized I missed some iron, and it killed me on the inside because I didn't have a pickaxe to get it. I really needed a new place to live, so I just started focusing on the house, just trying to get it so like the inside was actually livable, because right now there was nothing inside. Okay, so I think I got the inside kind of planned out and like what I want to do. I'll show you guys what I mean. First, I'm going to craft some chests because I want to like start placing some storage areas around in the house. Alright, so on the inside of here, we got like a big open place. That was some coal. I was just mining it out. But back here, I want there to be like a staircase that can go up because we can have a multiple we can have multiple floors up here. Um, I think maybe this way there's going to be a storage room. Upstairs is where I can put my bedroom and I can have all my crafting, my smelting, my armor stands, all that kind of cool stuff down in here. So I think this is starting to come out to look pretty epic. I'm pretty hyped for this, but first I got to- oh wait, I gotta, I gotta place these chests somewhere. Um... I think right here, this is where the back wall is going to be. So I'm just going to place some chests like that. So that can be where our storage system is for now. A lot of tree gathering on day 11 because, you know, my inside of like my house was mainly a lot of wood. I was experimenting with a lot of wood designs. Alright, so it's day 12. I finally finished up the inside of the house as you guys can see. I think it looks pretty dope. I kind of went with like a simple little pattern on the walls. Haven't quite finished the ceiling yet. I made a little spiral staircase over there. And also I realized there was like a weird glitch going on inside the house. So you see these two pillars at that line, that imaginary line, if I cross through it like legs a little bit for a random reason, just, just look at this. You see that? That kind of just stops and it's only right there. I've gone to like everywhere else in my world and it doesn't really happen. So it's, it's really weird how right there, you see, I did, it does it again, it does it every time and I don't know how to fix it. I've tried uh, looking up a bunch of stuff, like allocating RAM and all that. It didn't really work, but that is our spell staircase, and yeah, it, it kind of just leads up to nowhere right now. But our house is looking pretty dope. Can't wait to add more decorations into it. Alright, well this torch should be the last of it, and then I should be finally ready to go into my new house. I should be all settled in. Yeah, we have all of our furnaces, our crafting table, our chests, everything is here and ready to go. I think the next thing we need to work on is our food source, because we don't really have that good of a food source right now. All we have are just the animals we're finding, so I think we should probably make like a little pen for the cows and the sheep that we can just kill and get their food. Because honestly, the wheat is pretty slow right now. Yeah, plus like I didn't build that big of a farm space, I, I don't know why I made it so small. But yeah, I think an animal pen would work pretty nice. Okay, so I got some of my ores smelting, we got the iron, we got the iron here again, and gold there. Oh, it's already all done? I forgot I only had three pieces of gold. But I think it's the time to upgrade all of our tools, because we still got uh, some stone things. Gotta craft some sticks, and I think the first thing we need to do is make a replacement pickaxe. And also, we probably should make a axe as well. There we go, and finally a sword. Then we finally have some iron gear. That looks a lot better. Right now, I'm kind of just dumping everything in the chest, but once I have more chests set up and like a better storage area, I will store everything like I used to in the last season. Also, a village would be pretty handy because, you know, we gotta get some of our hands on those pesky villagers. Okay, well, let's grab up some of our wheat and go find some cows and stuff. We can lure them into a hole at first, and then we can build like a designated pen for them. Bingo, I spotted a huge pack of cows right here. Near our house, it was pretty good. There was also some pigs, and I think there were sheep as well. Yeah, time to bring these guys back over to my house. And so I dug out a place for the time being for these cows to just stay at while I work on building them a pen. I wanted to build these guys a huge luxurious pen, because I think they deserved it, because I was going to be killing most of them, so I wanted the cows to live their last couple of days in happiness and peace. Okay, finished up their cow pen, time to grab the wheat and bring them over. So as you can see right here, we got a nice little gate. They can come inside, and we got a huge area for them, tons of playtime with their friends, you know, they can be happy, you even got like a little bathtub where they can uh, take baths, and I also probably should make a separate one where they can drink water from, because you know, we, we don't want them, we don't want them drinking the water they bathe in. 
Oh, I was about to continue with the video and I just saw a creeper in the corner of my eye, bro. Get out of here. Okay, so back on our agenda, let's get these guys into their new home. Oh, look how happy they look. I know they're all ready to get inside their brand new house. All right, well, you guys are in your brand new home. I'm going to breed you guys up. There we go. You guys go have some fun. And I'm going to leave you guys to do it. Hey, we even got the achievement. Next up, I gathered some glass because I had some plans for our second floor that included some glass. I wanted to make the second floor stick out from the top and there would be some glass for windows so you could like look out. I think that would look pretty cool. On day 15, I set out on an adventure to just go explore some places behind my house. I came across some sugarcane. But the biggest thing of all that I saw back here was this huge, like, I don't even know what it was, mountain, like, weird terrain generation. It was just out of this world. It looks amazing. Okay, so I'm making my way up the side of the mountain right now, and it's kind of difficult because it's super steep. And we got some acacia trees. Wait, what biome even is this? This looks insane. Bruh. Yo, chill. Why are you trying to sneak up on me like that, bro? Calm down. This biome is a shattered savanna plateau. That is, that is cool. I never knew that was even a thing. And this seems like coarse dirt. And uh, coarse dirt is out here in the wild. That's pretty dope. I'm going to collect some of this because coarse dirt, you need gravel and dirt combined. And it's kind of annoying to go out and just grab all of those things. Let's see, there's some lava pools on the surface. I got to be real careful when I'm walking through these fields. But, oh, wow. What is this? I swear there's like, there's a tree up there. This is absolutely insane. By the way, guys, the seed that I typed, oh, this looks so cool. The seed that I typed was Minecraft Hardcore. I didn't put a D there. I think I already mentioned that at the very beginning. It was a typo. I didn't even realize it. But this seed is Minecraft Hardcore, H-A-R-C-O-R-E. This thing is sick. It's only about like 100 blocks away from spawn or so, I think. And we got a freaking coral reef back there. Gonna have to explore all this stuff later. When I get my elytra, dude, that, that's gonna make some epic thumbnails. But yeah, that, that is what it looks like for now. We just got some trees. Dude, building something up here could be amazing. Oh my god, it's almost night right now. It's like the sunset and this place looks even better. Yeah, there definitely could be some sick builds going on here. I just want to look over here a little bit more before I go home. Oh, too many mobs, too many mobs. Maybe I should leave. I'm out now. Oh, and by the way, day 16, sugarcane farm time. Built it right next to the cow's pen. Day 17 is spent down all in the mines. You know, I gotta get all those diamonds. We gotta make a nether portal so we can hop into the nether. I'm on version 1.16.4, so that includes another update. Nether is a scary place though, so I gotta make sure I'm ready and all geared up. So I was mining down a stairway to get to Y level like 15 around, and I actually stumbled across some diamonds. Broke the first one and realized there was a lava pool underneath and I lost my first diamond. Pretty sad event. There we go, got our first diamond. Let's go, baby. Got the second diamond and that might have actually been it. I double checked around the place to make sure there was no more diamonds left. So that sucks because we could have gotten a three vein, which would have been enough to make a full diamond pickaxe. But now I'm going to have to go find another diamond vein. Ooh, there's some more lapis right there. I see you hiding underneath the water. A whole pickaxe and a starving one tap later. We finally found our next piece of diamond. This was a five vein right here, so that was pretty lucky. Now we have enough to make the pickaxe and it's time to go home. On my way out, I planted a sign that said the cave of death. And I think you guys know why when you just take a peek down. So I chucked back some of the iron into the furnaces and I crafted my first diamond pickaxe. This was a monumental moment in the world. Okay, your boy over here is starving right now. So I think it's time to go breed up some more animals and kill some. There we go, you all can breed up. I'ma kill you guys over here. I'm sorry, but I need the food. I'm gonna die here. Alright, we got five raw beef from that. Should be enough to hold me for a little while. On day 19, I was just working on the second floor of our house. I'm sorry if you guys can see some lag spots here. It's because, like, I'm walking through that one point I mentioned earlier in the video. I promise I'm gonna get this fixed somehow because I cannot play the game like this. I'm gonna get it fixed. Alright, so on day 19, I finished up most of the upstairs. I got, like, a good room going on over here. But the biggest focus was this tower. I didn't know how I wanted it to look. It was actually kind of difficult thinking of the ideas, but I went with some stone walls and the roof is going to be pretty hard to make. I'm going to try doing that tomorrow. But I think a little tower just sticking out on the top would be kind of cool. Kind of like a lookout area. If I build more in this world, this would be a pretty nice view. On day 20, I started work on the roof and first I did a small round pointy roof and it didn't look too good. And then I settled on this classic medieval styled roof and I kind of liked it, so I went with it. Okay, so I'm almost done with this roof. I just got to add this last thing on here. One more slab. There we go. I think we're finally complete. So I'll show you guys around the house. So right up here, we go upstairs. 
This is kind of our little lookout balcony. We got a little lantern hanging from there. I think this turned out pretty good. And I replaced the cobble walls with just normal logs, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna dump off all my stuff first, and then I'll talk to you guys. Okay, well, it is day 20, and I'm planning on doing about 20 days per episode. In season 1, I kept up my 25 to 20 day episodes for, like, about 100 days, and then I kind of just gave up on that. But this season, I'm gonna try to stick to it as much as I can. There might be people out there thinking, oh, this guy sucks. He doesn't even have diamond armor yet, man. He's on day 20. I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm going slow on purpose to try to just capture everything in this game, just to enjoy it the most. And the reason I'm also doing only 20 days per episode is because this is a mix between, like, just going fast and just zooming through all the days and a mix of some commentary. Also, I have no idea why I put that window there. You can't even see anything because the staircase blocks it, so just, just don't ask. Yeah, but we got some cool things done in this episode. We got some lanterns. I really like those lanterns. We got a mini farm here. Our first starter house. That's almost complete. The second floor just needs a little bit of work. A sugarcane farm that's already all grown up and also a cow pen. With a skeleton in there. Hold up. We gotta get rid of him. No, I just saw him shoot one of the cows. There we go. He deserves death penalty. You can't be shooting my cows like that. Yeah, well, before it turns day and goes to day 21, I think I'm gonna have to end off this episode here, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Hopefully, the start of season 2 has gotten you guys excited for more videos to come. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey guys, today we survived from days 20 to 50. If you haven't seen episode 1, I'd highly recommend you guys go check that out to catch up. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. What is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back in episode 2 of our Minecraft Hardcore World. We've got a lot of stuff to get done today, so we should probably get started. On day 21, I went and harvested up our sugarcane, and I also expanded the farm a little bit. I also grabbed some of my wheat and started breeding up more of our cows, because we're going to need some more steak. Now it's day 21, I want to start off by like improving my house a bit, because you know the upstairs kind of scuffed right now. Oh yeah, and later in the day, I found one of those desert zombies. He had chainmail armor on, and luckily I got a piece. He also dropped a carrot, which is another good farming item we can use. Alright, it's day 23, and I have my diamond pickaxe on me, and I haven't used it yet, so why don't we go use it now? So I'm here at the Cave of Death. Uh, let's, let's head inside. I probably should have like a water bucket or something, so I don't take fall damage when I'm dropping down in here. Bruh. Okay, let's see if we can spot some lava. I'm just gonna keep on heading down. I gotta find where that original ravine was. Oh, hey. What's up, Enderman? Uh, I need your Ender Pearls. Oh yeah, I'm running low on food. I'm gonna need some more food pretty soon. Hey, let's go. We got our Ender Pearl, boys. I think that was the first one that we've ever gotten. I found my original ravine and I spotted some obsidian right away. Time to go mine this. This is gonna be lots of fun. This should be our last piece of obsidian and we should be good to go to get our nether portal in. There we go. Alright, now I gotta go and find a spot to build this thing. I think I'm gonna include it down in the mines, actually. Because then it'll be, like, kind of far away from my main house, and, you know, I can I can always move it whenever I want to, but I think I'm just going to build it down here, right over here. You know, I just don't want pigment, like, up in the overworld just chilling, so I'm just going to build it right here. Should be good. Oh, wait, I forgot a flint and steel. I just realized that. I'm going to have to go back up and grab one. I think the next step is probably to get some stairs up in here, because this, this is a pain, and it wastes all of my food, too. When I got out of that cave, it was actually nighttime, so I just went to bed, and now I got my flint and steel, and I'm all ready to go. Oh, I always forget. I'm not supposed to go that way. I'm supposed to go up here, and then there's, like, a stairway down here. Oh, yeah, and also, like, I, I was kind of too lazy to make some bread, so I'm using rotten flesh as my food source right now. Probably not the smartest idea. All right, well, let's light up our nether portal. Three, two, one, boom. Hey, yo, we got our first nether portal in the world. Let's see how our nether spawn is. Ooh, we spawned in one of the new biomes? Advanced been made. We need to go deeper. Oh, that guy's bad. That guy's bad. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold up, hold up. We're going back. We're going back. Okay, maybe I should get some real food first, so I'm like a bit safer. Yeah, we should we should probably go do that. So I went to go breed some of the cows just for more meat, and I heard a skeleton, and he was hiding inside the, like the sugar can, and he also died in there too. But then there was another skeleton who shot one of my cows and actually killed one. Yeah, I didn't like the skeleton. I went over and just killed him. Can't believe he was hiding inside the sugar can. Now that I got food, I gotta make sure that I cook it to turn it into steak, and then I can head over to the nether. Alright, it's a new day, I think we're ready to head on into the nether now. I've got my 26th steak with me, I've got, um, some building blocks. I think that's about all that we need. A shield is ready and equipped in case that one, like, pig guy comes after us again, because that guy, I'm pretty sure he does a lot of damage. 
Let's see if he's around here. Oh, already a ghast. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Hopefully that guy doesn't see me. We got a ghast over there already. Hey, I hit it back to him. All right, well, I guess let's just look around and see what we got here. I'm going to gather up some of this wood. Hey, oh, chill, chill, chill. Are they coming after me? I'm, I'm confused, bro. Am I strong enough to take on these guys? I'm going to eat first just to be safe. Where is he? Oh, whoa. He does like a heart. Okay, okay. He's doing a lot of damage. I'm going to just back off for a sec. I think I can kill him, though. I'm not sure how much health they have. But, oh, yeah, there we go. It was like a couple hits. Okay, they're not that bad, especially with the shield. The shield's pretty good. All right, there's also some nether quartz here. I'm going to grab this up as well. Pretty nice. Our spawn is kind of... Eh, oh, hey, what's up? Oh, I think these are the guys that we have to give gold bars to, or gold ingots, and then we trade with them. But I don't have any gold on me right now. Oh, is he aggro? I, I don't know. I'm going to get out of there. But yeah, as I was saying, our spawn, I think, is all right. We have, uh, we're kind of like high. We spawned pretty high up. So I'm going to need to just get down somehow. I'm going to build like a bridge to get up to there because that place looks kind of cool. I got to be super careful here because if I fall down, that's legit instant death. Oh, I see some nether gold up there. I should go get that soon. All right, man, we're way up here. And oh God, nope, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, oh, oh. I knew he was going to knock me off. I got scared, so I had to just run. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna chill here because I don't know if he can see us through the portal. Dude, as soon as I saw him, I tried to run away as much as possible because those guys knock you back. That was a close call, dude. So you know, I spent a lot of time in the Nether just grabbing up some useful things, grabbing some gold, getting a lot of Netherrack, and just getting a lot of the Nether items. I even constructed like a small mini base right on another portal because there were a lot of those like pig-looking dudes. Hold up, I gotta find what they're called. Oh, okay, they're called Hoglands. So, um, just to be safe, I'm gonna build, like, a mini little base around my nether portal because there are a lot of Hoglands that spawn in this area. I found some glowstone as well, and glowstone is one of my favorite lighting sources. This should be great for the base. So, on day 29, I was ready to go home. I had a lot of stuff, but I was kinda lost, so hopefully I can make it back in one piece. Thankfully, I made it back home. Well, on a serious note, I think it might be time to add some stairs right here because this, this gets annoying. A good thing about this nether trip was that I got a lot of course, which meant a lot of XP levels, and I'm going to be needing to enchant things soon, so these XP levels are going to come in handy. Okay, well I think it's mob harp time, so I grabbed a bunch of blocks, walked outside, realized it was night out, gotta go back to bed. Dang it, dude. I really wanted to build it right now. A big chunk of day 31 was just getting a ton of sticks, because I needed a lot of ladders. For the actual farm, I chose to build it in this like sandy area, and it has to be 128 blocks up in the sky. Yeah, climbing up this ladder every time is gonna get pretty old soon. I need an elytra. And it's already dark. I don't really want to work on this thing anymore. I think we're gonna go do something else. Okay, I think it's time for a carrot farm. We have one little carrot here. Let's go find a place to build this thing. So right now, I'm thinking of having the path like turn this way. It can go over to our cow farm. Oh, don't worry about this. The creeper exploded, but I managed to patch it up. Over here is a sugarcane farm. I guess we could make our carrot farm like right in this area. Doesn't have to be that big, we only have one carrot to work with. Here, I'm just gonna make like a rough kind of sketch of our path. It leads over to here, and then it'll turn up here. Then it'll go over to the sugarcane farm, and then right over here we can have our carrot farm. So that means I think we're gonna have to take down some of these trees. There we go, all finished. So once those trees go away, I think we should be good to go. I'm gonna make like a little cobblestone wall around it, so then no mobs will trample over the crops of course. Alright, so this is kind of like what my layout's gonna be like, we got some water on the inside, but there's like this little, I don't know, patch of like dirt and grass over here. We probably should get rid of this, just like clear it out, because you know, it'll give us a flatter landscape and just more to work with. So I'm gonna clear this stuff out and also patch up this hole right here. So I'm planting down some trees along the edge of our thing. I think it looks pretty good, but it's time to go hoe up our ground now. Okay, so later on in the series, I'm probably going to do some, like, districts and stuff. Some for, like, farming and the machines, and then some for, like, villager trading, some for bases, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just, like, an idea. But anyway, right now, I want to make an enchantment area because I think we should start working toward an enchantment table just so we can get some better gear. I want to make, like, a secret room maybe right off over here. 
I'm thinking of doing like a piston door or something cool like that. You know, kind of just like an almost hidden room with just like a wooden pressure plate there. We can just walk in and then just get into our secret like enchantment room. But to do that, we're going to need a slime farm and a lot of books. So we're going to have to do that. So I'm going to have to make a slime farm, which is going to be kind of annoying. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And plus the slime farm is probably going to be useful later on as well, because slime is really important for like pistons, you know, sticky pistons, you use them everywhere. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out, like, planning all this stuff out, because I wanted to see if I could do, like, a 1x2 or a 2x2. I wanted to try to make it, like, hideable or concealable, and I wanted to make it, like, smooth. I'm not the best redstone guy, but I think this works. Well, the good news is that it works. Now I just gotta get some sticky pistons. I messed around with the redstone for a little bit, and it should work with the lever on the outside. So now I just gotta carve out an actual room for this thing. The rest of the day 34 was just me cleaning out my base and throwing out some items. I added more chests right here, and pretty much this place is just for my wood. We got all wood related items right here, and all cobblestone and stone related items right here. So now we got a bit of sorting, so that's pretty nice. Over here, uh, it's still just really messy, but don't worry, one one day we're, we're gonna get sorted out and clean. Maybe once we move into our new base, because I'm probably gonna move out of here kinda soon. Pretty much just once this place isn't big enough for me, then I'll build like a better base and begin chilling there. But like, I'm kind of lazy to make a storage system, but I honestly could pretty easily if I just broke out. I could remove this and then break out this way and make a little storage room. That would be pretty nice. Alright, well anyway, today I think it might be time to start out the slime farm. So, in season 1, we had a slime farm like on the right side of our house. You know, we're gonna do the same thing. So, right about here, I think, we could just dig down pretty far and start working on the slime farm. Oh wow, who just hit me? Yo, chill! Maybe I should try getting a bow because, you know, a bow would be pretty nice just fighting off some of the long range mobs and also creepers. It would be a lot easier dealing with creepers. Alright, well, I'm gonna make some uh, pickaxes to go mine with because I don't want to waste my diamond pickaxe on just mining out a huge square. I actually forgot a key part about slime farms. They can only be built in slime chunks, which I couldn't just, like, you know, randomly choose. So this slime chunk right here was the closest one to my house. I, it's, it's still pretty good, though. We can build it here. I was trying to figure out how to make it look nice, but I couldn't really find an idea, so I just gave up and I figured I was going to do that later. Okay, I switched up the spot because when I dug down, I realized that I was legit right in the middle of a ravine, so this place should be a bit better. This is going to be a great couple of days, bro. Just, you know, mining out a huge box. You know, what's, what's more fun than that? Alright, so there's a little problem. I built this around, like, my house, you know, and there's a ravine next to my house, so there's a lot of lighting up I have to do, and also, I kind of ran into a cave, so I gotta patch all this up and make sure all this is as best lighted up as possible. This is actually a huge cave, though, like, there could be some good stuff here, but, you know, right now, we're not, like, in the mood of mining ores going caving. We gotta get our slime thing done. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to patch- Bruh. Ow, why are there so many mobs here? Chill out. Yo, I should probably patch this up before any more mobs come over here. At least the one plus thing about all this boring mining is that we have tons of cobble now. So like, we have a unlimited cobble pretty much. I think I have half a double chest full of cobble right now. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, but I'm using Logical Geek Boy's 1.16 Easy Slime Farm. He builds his in the ocean, which is actually smart because then there's like no mobs that you have to deal with. I wanted it close to my home, but I recommend you to go out and build it in the ocean. I then had to craft myself an iron golem. So I needed some pumpkins, and thankfully there were some by my house. I also saw some cows, so that's some free leather right there. Alright, let's give this a shot. Um, I hope I don't mess this up, but I gotta place this guy right here, and then I gotta push him in without him falling off. So let's give it a shot. Boom. Oh, hired help. You get an achievement? Nudge him over there. Please don't fall off. Please don't. I think we're looking good. And then place that back, and he should be stuck there. Okay, I, I'm actually super glad that that went smoothly the first time. Because I do not want to try killing one of these guys. The rest of day 40 and 41 was just spent, you know, finishing up the farm and adding the storage system down at the bottom. Okay, I finally have finished up this farm. It's looking pretty clean and neat. So we have our storage chests right here. The slimes should be coming in here. And we got a way up and a way down. So I just got to swim up this water tower to get to the top. And then I just got to drop down to get down. Oh, hey, I can actually tell that it's raining. You can see little raindrops coming down from up there. That's cool. Okay, I'm just gonna AFK up here for a couple of minutes. I know it's not gonna be the best efficiency, like, if I go up in the sky, but I don't really want to build a sky tower right now, and we don't need that much slime, so it should be okay. Alright, it's now day 45, and I think we're good now. Let's go check on how much slime we have. 
So we gotta remember that the whole point of this slime farm was actually just for our hidden base, just to make those sticky pistons. I spent so much time working on this farm, I actually forgot, like, what the whole point was. Alright, 45 slime balls on the top chest, 64 and 16 in the bottom chest. That is pretty good for a low efficiency farm, because I there were, there were probably mobs everywhere. I know I didn't light up every single cave, and on the surface there were definitely a lot of mobs, but it still worked pretty well. I'm only gonna need, like, uh, 6 slime balls, I think? Yeah, so I'm gonna go craft those. Oh, also, we're broke now because I used all of our iron to make hoppers. I think it took about, like, a stack and a half iron to make the 16 or so hoppers I needed. So, yeah, I think a mining trip is probably going to be necessary pretty soon. All right, well, let's make our four sticky, or six sticky pistons, not four. And then place them like this. Grab my oak logs, put them right here, and I think we're finally done. It's been so long, but we finally got this. Let's go. It's working perfectly. I like this right now. So inside here, this is going to be our enchantment room. I haven't, like, fully designed it yet, but this is kind of how big it's going to be. Uh, this is going to be the bookshelves. I just have placer blocks. But yeah, this is actually so cool. You actually can't even see that door at all. All you can see is just the lever here. That, that I'm addicted to that already, dude. That's, that's so cool. Now with all of our cobblestone that we got, I think it's time to actually finish up our mob farm that we started earlier in this episode. Because, you know, that XP is going to be handy when we enchant things. And, you know, I haven't done a time lapse for this season yet, so I think this would be a perfect time to just do, like, a small time lapse of me working on this huge mob farm. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I've been AFKing here for like a couple minutes. Uh, this thing honestly looks kind of cool. I just went with like the OG, you know, the very first like mob farm design that anyone's kind of ever made. Just a super simple classic one. And it, it looks like it's been working pretty well. I've only sat here for a couple minutes. So I made this brand new stone sword for us that I can try out on these mobs because they're going to be like pretty much one tap. Yeah, there we go. We're one hitting these guys. So let's just kill all these dudes and grab up the XP and see how much we get. Oh yeah, we already hit level 30, boys. This is looking pretty good. And we get a bunch of mob drops as well. Like bones. Bones are going to be useful. And also gunpowder. Gunpowder is also another useful thing. Well, that mob farm honestly works great for us. It's just like a great all-around early game mob farm. I can probably start using bread as like some food because, you know, I've got tons of wheat in here and I haven't like you really made any into bread yet. So let's go do that right now. Alright, there we go. 21 pieces of bread. Another good food source that we have on our inventory. Alright, some of them are grown. I've been slowly expanding these, like, pretty much almost every day. Whenever I see that they're grown, I just try to expand them. So then hopefully we can start filling up this whole half. So I'm thinking this half carrots, that half pumpkin, or not pumpkin, potatoes. I just realized that this side's actually a little bit bigger. You know, it doesn't really matter. We can start mass farming these when we actually need to, but I don't really see a need for that right now. It's just, it just looks pretty nice. Let's also go breed some of our cows. We haven't done that in a while. Alright, there we go. We actually got a lot of these guys now. Well, I'm level 33, so that means we can probably start enchanting pretty soon. Probably next episode when we actually have time, because, you know, it's turning night. It's almost day 50 already. The episode's about to end. Let's go, guys. We made it to day 50. Looking pretty nice out. So I was thinking that we're definitely going to be needing an upgrade on our weapons and armor. Like, we still got iron stuff, and it's day 50. I'm pretty sure, like, last season, like, by day 70 or something, I already beat the inner dragon. I was already decked out. But, you know, we're kind of going on a different pace this season. But yeah, definitely soon, maybe some villagers too, because, you know, villager trading is always good. We gotta get those emeralds in for those beacons. 
Yeah, last season I think I only had two beacons by the time when my world got corrupted. So in this world, we're gonna try doing that a lot faster. We're gonna try to get some more beacons, because you know, beacons do be good. <laughs> Alright, well on this final day, I just want to work on this path right here. Because you know, if you guys are watching the last episode of the last season, the last clip, I'm pretty sure, the last clip I show, I was working on a path in our old world next to our, like, kind of base. So we're gonna end off day 50 by working on a little path here. I'll just do a two wide path for now. And I can decorate it later on with like gravel, coarse dirt, you know, all the good stuff. But yeah, I wanna say thank you to all of you guys for sticking with me this whole time. It really means a lot to me. Well, I think that's it guys. We survived 50 days. That's pretty insane. Oh, we should really check on the slime farm. Let's see if we got any slime while we were away. I don't think so though, honestly, because we were way too far from this thing. Yeah, yeah, we didn't really get anything because, you know, we weren't really AFKing like close to it. All right, well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video had a lot of building, actually. We built that slime farm, we built that mob farm up there, but, you know, it's things that we got to do. It's just like, it's just stuff that will help us progress with the game, but now we're chilling. We got a good way of XP for early game, at least, and we got a slime farm down there, and also we got our little hidden room going on. This thing is looking pretty epic. I can't wait to actually build this thing and make this look decked out and cool. Yeah, well, I guess that's pretty much going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Before this video begins, I just want to say Merry Christmas to all you guys out there who celebrate it. This video is going live on the 24th of December, so most of us will be celebrating Christmas on that time. I was planning on doing some Christmas themed stuff in an episode, I never realized that this episode was actually going to be the one on Christmas Eve. Yeah, if I knew beforehand, I definitely would have built like a Christmas tree or something, you know, we gotta get festive up in here. Alright, well that's enough of me talking, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, I am OneTap, and today we are going to be surviving from days 50 to 75. I hope you guys enjoy the video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be playing some Season 2 Minecraft Hardcore. Last episode we got some farms done, we got that big thing up there. And also our slime farm down there. So we did a lot of farms last episode. I think today is time to maybe upgrade some of our weapons and stuff. You see I'm level 33 right now. So that's good enough to like actually um get a full enchantment. So we should probably do that. But before we do any of that. We still need to get an enchantment table. And also some books. If you're new to this series and this is the first video that you're watching of me, I'm OneTap and this series is a little bit different than other like 100 day series that you'll watch. In this series, I kind of go on a let's play style because I honestly like the let's play style better than the just super fast paced going through all the days in like 10 minutes kind of style. It's still going to have that same core like element of 100 days like with a day counter and all that stuff. But it's just going to be a little bit more slower paced. There are still going to be some times where I do voiceovers and stuff. It's kind of just a mix between the two. So I hope you guys join me in this journey to see how long I can survive in Minecraft Hardcore. Alright, well our care farm is looking pretty good. We're almost done with this side. Um, we just have four more slots left. Okay, well we want to make an enchantment table, right? Oh, there's a spider there. Hold on, let me kill this guy. Alright, well anyway, I was saying that we should get an enchantment table. I forgot how to make them. I think you need obs I think you need obsidian and a diamond and a book maybe? Let's see here. Oh, I was actually correct. Obsidian, a diamond, and a book. Should be pretty easy. And we got four diamonds inside there, so that should be enough for it, and we just need to go down and get some obsidian. Let's check out our leather. We have four in there, 23 in there, and two in there. So that's not gonna be enough to get bookshelves. So we're gonna have to figure out a good way to get bookshelves. Maybe I'm just gonna have to grind out for the leather. Hopefully I can find a better way to do this though, because this is gonna this is gonna take a long time. So later in that day, I took a trek down into the mine and grabbed some obsidian. Okay, so I just realized that to make a book, you only need one piece of leather. For some reason, I thought it was three pieces of leather, so I think we might actually be able to do this a bit easier. That means it only takes three pieces of leather to make a whole bookshelf, I believe. Alright, well anyway, I got my obsidian, I got my book, and time to grab our two diamonds. We can finally make this enchantment table. There we go, and let's bring it inside of our secret room. Plop it right down in the middle, looking pretty nice. I think I'm gonna need a bit more sugar cane for this. Alright, that's a lot of paper. Let's see how much books we can make out of that. Alright, we have 28 books and we can make 9 bookshelves out of that. That's that's alright. 
All right, so I'm just gonna kind of just lay them out like this, I guess. I don't know like the exact way to do it to give you like the most um, enchantment points per bookshelf, but I think this is pretty close. I'm gonna do it like that, and then I'll just have two there and then one there. All right, we need some lapis. Good thing we have 45. Okay, so we only have level 18 enchantments. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit, try to get 30. Shouldn't take too long because we have a lot of cows out there. Yeah, look at those guys. They're all ready to be fed. Come here. There we go, all my wheat is gone, and there's just so many cows, we're definitely gonna have to be killing some of these guys. An expansion for our sugarcane farm was much needed, cause you know, we needed a lot of paper for these bookshelves that we were about to craft. As you can see in this cow pen, there's not many cows left, cause I killed most of them, but this should be enough for now. And it didn't take very long for us to get our maxed out enchantment set up. Okay, I think it might be time for our very first enchantment of the series. So I'm going to take our diamond pickaxe and we got a unbreaking three. Okay, that could have something good with like efficiency or whatever with it. There we go. We got our enchantment or advancement, not enchantment. My bad. What do we have here? Oh, it's only unbreaking three. Okay, I guess it's, it's all right still, but I was hoping for like efficiency or something on that. Well, now that we only have two diamonds left from using two on that enchantment table, we have to go back down and grab some more if we want to get some tools and some armor. So I ran through my entire iron pickaxe and I didn't come across anything, but literally like a couple minutes after that, I started using my diamond one and I found some diamonds. So there's our first batch. You know, it took a while how to get a couple pickaxes, but I got my second vein of diamonds. This one was a pretty good one. It was a seven vein, I think. So now we had a total of 10 diamonds. We're looking pretty set, but I think I want to find one more vein. I was getting so bored of mining at this point. I really wanted to find that last vein and it finally came. This one was a five vein and yeah, 15 diamonds should be good enough for like a good amount of armor. Well, I got my 15 diamonds in my hand. I think it might be time to craft up some armor. So let's look at what we have here. So we have an iron chest plate, leggings, our helmets almost gonna die. I think we might do these three pieces. Or actually, I don't even know if I can afford all that. Let's see how much. Okay, yeah, we can make one diamond chest plate, and then we can do the leggings, and oh, that's, that's actually it. Okay, we're gonna need more diamonds then. There we go, the advancement covered me with diamonds. Let's replace these. Hey, we're looking pretty fresh right now. Ooh, why don't we go ahead and enchant this stuff? Starting off with our chest plate. Let's see what we got here. Fire protection three. Oh, I don't really want that. Uh, okay, let's do, let's do our leggings first. Is that gonna be the same? Oh, it is. Well, I guess I'll just get, um... I'll, I'll do it on my leggings. I'll just get, uh, unbreaking one, please. Okay, I'll take it. Protection one, unbreaking one. Now, do we, oh, okay, okay. Protection three. Let's, let's go with that. Protection three and thorns as well. I, I'll take it. Pretty good for just, like, starting off. We're gonna need some more diamonds, though, but I'll do that later since I've been mining so long and I'm already kind of sick of it. All right, so I got my iron smelted in here and I got some steak, actually. 40 steak. That's a lot. I was just gonna go outside and check out my farms, but little did I know I came across something pretty good. Ooh, okay, our carrot farms are pretty full. I haven't been here in a while, so this is this is great. Oh, chill. Okay. Oh, oh, that, that's a zombie villager. I, I saw some creepers in the distance. I want to be careful, but that's a zombie villager. We got to try to keep this guy safe. Let's get rid of this other zombie right here first. Let's get rid of this other zombie right here first. And there's a creeper coming. Okay, we got to be careful and fast with this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Dig a two by two. Oh, our zombie friend just killed the skeleton over there. That was an epic battle, bro. I see you, okay? Dude, our zombie friend just saved us. No! He's okay. That guy's okay. All right, that was kind of my fault. I got way too close to it, and I thought I was going to kill him in one shot, but I, I guess I didn't. Okay, thankfully he didn't die because we, we need this dude. Oh, there we go. Okay, we, we got him stuck in there now. That was kind of a close call. I was scared he was going to die from my thorns because my thorns was just constantly damaging him. All right, I'm going to keep you safe. We need a golden apple and a weakness potion ASAP. I honestly don't know if I'm able to make it in time because I don't even have blaze rods or like anything yet because, you know, we haven't even been to like, we haven't even explored the nether. So this, this might, this might not work out. Okay, well, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to save this guy because we are just not prepared at all. And if I move 128 blocks away from this dude, then he will despawn, so I think this might have been a failure. Well, I was gonna give it a try anyway, so I went down into the nether. Let's see if we can find ourselves a nether fortress. A lot of trekking later, there was a nether fortress. It was submerged into the ground though, this is the first time I've ever seen something like that. I was intrigued, so I decided to go and explore it. So I actually got pretty low a couple times. It wasn't that bad though, because when I got below like four hearts, I kind of just ran and hid. So I think I was good, but I got a wither skeleton skull. Like, what? 
why does why does it give it to me now like if, if you saw my last season you guys wouldn't know it took me so so long to find my first withers guild and skull back home finally after a long trip in the nether i had to cross one of those new biomes it was pretty cool though it was like weird there were a lot of those like basalt thingies i, I think it was called a basalt delta i don't know oh wait i should probably check if the villager is gone it, it probably is and yeah he's gone yeah i tried to throw him a oh my chill Whoa, there's a lot of mobs out here tonight. Holy crap. Okay, well, as I was saying, there's a carrot down there because I was trying to throw him a carrot to see if he could pick it up. Because if you guys didn't know, um, mobs can uh, sometimes hold items, and when they hold items, I don't think they despawn. So that would have been pretty great. We got a lot of treasures, though. We got some nether warts from a chest. We got a wither skeleton skull, eight blaze rods. So I guess I could start making a brewing stand and make some potions just in case this happens again. I think I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, my inventory is so messy. I need, I need to clean this up. Day 61 was kind of boring, except I found an enderman holding a grass block. And you already know what I did to him. Hey, we got a grass block, though. No silk touch. This is pretty pog. By the end of that day, I expanded my sugarcane farm, so now it was even bigger than ever. I wonder how big this thing's gonna get. Alright, well anyway, I think today might be a good time to, you know, extend the storage system because our chest has been getting kind of full. Like, our wood one's alright, our stone one's close, it's getting there. Over here, our junk chest is just filled. We need to do a little bit more sorting because, you know, last season we, we had tons of sorting and stuff going on. So I think I'm just gonna mine out this way. And I feel like just a little storage room on the right side of our house could look pretty cool. Oh wait, actually, before we do this, I think I need a refresher on all of my tools. And there we go, we got ourselves some brand new fresh and clean iron tools. So this place was actually already dug out because there was a water pool here. So a lot of the digging has already been done for us, so that's, that's actually pretty convenient. I guess I don't really have to do that much digging, which is nice. I forgot that I left a lot of iron in here a long time ago, so now we got 41 iron ingots. That's that's actually handy. Well, anyway, what I was doing was I kind of just built it out here, followed the same, like, kind of pattern or theme with the rest of the house. Just super simple, basic, boring, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I don't really like this design, but I kind of have to stick with it because it's gonna look weird if I just choose some random design out of nowhere. Well, anyway, right here, we got some glowstone lining up the ground, and I think I'm just gonna be having chests like this, and they can just stack up up and yeah that i think that's about it for our storage area still got a lot of work to do to like clean up this room and add some better lighting like these torches just ain't gonna cut it bro this glowstone added some cool glow on these chests i think it turned out pretty good yeah i can't wait till we move out of here to be honest but like i feel like we can't just live inside our house for a couple of days and just move out we have to at least enjoy our time here you know spend a bit more time in here i think in our first season like the first house that we made we stayed in it for about 10 days or so and it was Kind of sad, so I think we're gonna make our first house in this season a bit more memorable. Guys, our wheat- oh. Bruh. What? Bro, chill, chill, I was gonna start the- I was gonna start the clip by, like, talking about our wheat, and I see a zombie riding on top of a baby chick- A baby- a baby zombie on top of a baby chicken? Or- oh no, that's a normal chicken. Dude, what? How rare is that mob? I don't wanna kill it. I guess I kinda have to, though, but that's- that's actually sick, though. I didn't know those guys could spawn. I thought they could only spawn, like, with gold or diamond armor, but I think that's probably more rare than this. Hey, he dropped some of his armor. Yeah, useless. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to bed, and then I'll talk to you guys. Alright, as I was saying, um, our wheat- uh, we have the smallest, most, like, tiny wheat farm ever. Like, we- we don't have a good source of wheat right now. And steak is like my main form of food, so I think we should probably get some more wheat because I need to be like, you know, feeding these guys. Ooh, also our sugarcane farm. It's full again. Dude, our sugarcane grows a lot faster than our wheat. Okay, uh, yeah, this is a lot of sugarcane. I, there's no way I'm using this all. That, that's probably enough. Well, next up on my list, as guys mentioned in the last episode, I think it might be time to do some capitalism. We really need to get some villagers up in here. I'm gonna grab some of our fences. Why don't we build a little house or a pen slash house kind of thing for the villagers? Um, I'm gonna do it right over here. This is a nice open place for it. I'll start it out as like a pen and then might be a bit expensive on wood. And as you guys saw in that wood chest a couple seconds ago, I'm kind of running out of wood. Yeah, I kind of like this idea. I think I'm gonna go with it. Their house is probably gonna be ugly because uh, it, this is just a little villager compound for now that I can just store them in. Because I don't really think it's necessary to take the time right now and make a whole like villager hall trading setup and all that kind of stuff. I just want a little house to keep them safe. I think you already know what day 64 was. A lot of tree gathering. You know, I'm kind of feeling like a lumberjack now, bro. Their lives are kind of boring. By night, you could kind of see what this villager thing was turning into. It looks more like a prison than a little house for them. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. 
but you know the hardest thing is going to be finding a villager zombie villagers aren't that rare i think in hardcore mode but i'll, I'll just have to keep an eye out for them because i haven't really been looking for them at first i could not find any of these zombie villagers but i came across one toward the end of the night as you guys can tell it's kind of difficult to get them back into the cage without any other mobs trying to you know devour you and there we go he is currently trapped inside that hole now we got to act fast and get our weakness potion and our golden apple all right, well, let's get started and turn these gold nuggets into gold ingots. Then we need to find an apple. There we go. We actually have one in there. All right, make a golden apple. There we go. We got a precious golden apple. Wait, I just realized that this had a blue font. Do you guys see that? How it says golden apple in blue font? Um, I don't really know why. Probably because it's a rare item. All right, well, anyway, back on track, we need a uh, fermented spider eye. That requires sugar, I believe. And finally, a brown mushroom. I already made my water bottles, so we just gotta place this stuff in here. Fermented spider eye, and we should have our weakness potion. Ooh, I need a gunpowder to make it splash, actually. Where is the spider? I I've been hearing the spider this whole time. I have no idea where he is. Oh yeah, and I should probably move stuff in the storage room, but I've been lazy right now. I'm gonna do it eventually. Alright, so we got our potions of weakness, put a gunpowder in, and that should make it splash. I need to find this dude. Oh, he's chilling at the top. Okay, just, just get out of here, please. Thank you. Come on, come on. It's almost done. Hey, there we go. Local brewery advancement made. Now, our boy over here should still be here because I'm pretty sure he picked up a dirt block as well. Yep, I hear him in there. And now we should have our witch doctor advancement done pretty soon. So while I was waiting for this dude to cure, I just um, started moving all of our items into our new storage room. It took a couple of minutes, but our zombie doctor achievement finally appeared. I was super excited, so I went to go check up on our villager, and there he was, just chilling down in the hole in all of his glory. Day 67 was a pretty boring day, just had to get a lot of work done, you know, moving all of our stuff into our brand new storage room, and also farming wood, because now that we had our villager, I turned him into a fletcher so we could sell him all of our sticks. Okay, so I finally finished up the storage room and I'm super excited to show you guys what it looks like. So all of these three chests here are completely empty, so we're all good with that. Over here, I decided to keep our current wood and uh, stone chests, but over here we got a sign that says storage, and inside I labeled everything with signs. I think it actually looks cool, and it's probably a better idea than doing item frames, because last season I did item frames, and um, some of you guys uh, pointed out that item frames are entities and they may cause lag, so I'm going to be going with signs this season. I think it looks just as good, honestly, maybe even better. Alright, well, right here we got our ores slash gems. Here are our valuables, which are pretty much just other goodies that just aren't ores. Right here is our dirt, sand, and gravel. This is just other random blocks. Here is mob drops, miscellaneous, food, tools, weapons, and armor. That's about it for the storage room. I still have to finish this up. I just, I've been lazy with this. I chopped some trees like a lumberjack all the way into day 68. After a nice and calming wood collecting session, I turned every single piece of a log that I had in my inventory into sticks. Hopefully this is enough to get us at least a bit started with some emeralds. And now it was time to trade them all to the villager. I actually had way more than enough. I thought it was going to be enough for just one session of trading, but turns out this is probably good for two. Thank you. Thank you. On day 70, I finished up some unfinished business and also laid down a nice path to the villager cage. On day 71, I was thinking about making a diamond sword and enchanting it, but I had the mob farm going, so I was like, screw it, I'm just going to use my iron sword. And we ended up getting Sharpness 3, Unbreaking 3, Sweeping Edge 3, that's, that's a pretty good enchantment. I was pretty happy with that. Next, I grinded out our mob farm, gathered some more levels, and then I returned over to our villager to trade more with him before the day was over. Well, the day was already over, but I think you know what I mean. I was about to start off, like, the, the day or whatever, and I just see some skeleton inside the sugarcane again, bro. Like, this is the second time. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, anyway, I was gonna show you guys this thing that I spotted over here. I I can't believe I haven't found this yet, but I, I was up there, and I looked down, and I noticed some cobblestone. So I was like, hmm, what is this? And I realized that it could only mean one thing. It's a dungeon, but what is the spawner? Oh, there it is. Is it spider? Oh, it's a spider spawner. I can't believe there's just, like, a dungeon pretty much on the surface. 
Okay, I don't know why I'm even clearing it out. We got the chests right here. So gunpowder, bones, saddles. Ooh, 13, music disc. That can help us when we try to collect all the music discs. Oh, cat. I like cat. And a golden apple. That's that's actually good because we can cure another zombie villager with that. And speaking of curing zombie villagers, tonight I want to go searching for another one because we need another villager. I'm probably going to turn him into a weaponsmith. Either a weaponsmith or an armor. An armor is probably more important because I'm trying to beat the inner dragon by day 100. That is kind of my goal of this series right now. Yeah, an expansion of the villager cage is going to be necessary very soon. And I kind of regret making it this ugly because I'm looking at it and it's kind of, yeah, I, I don't really like it, dude. I kind of hope that I just went with a nice house, but that also would have taken a lot of time. So I don't know. Also, we got an open space right here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see right here. Oh, maybe we could extend the farm over. Well, there's kind of some holes in the middle because that's where our slime farm is. But yeah, like weeds, potatoes, um, all that kind of stuff. We need a farm for that. That night was zombie villager hunting time, and these are actually not that rare in hardcore mode, I've realized. I've seen one, like, whenever I try to look for them, they're, they're not that hard to find. Except this one was kind of far from my house, it was gonna be a long trek to get back there. So the next day, I went over to cure our villager, fought off a creeper, but finally got the apple to him, and it was ready to go. I got a bunch more sticks and did some more trading with our villager boy over here. Okay, so I want to turn our villager into a armor now, and to do that we need to make a blast furnace, I believe. So I had to smelt some super smooth stone to make these, because I believe this is the recipe. Yes, sir. Alright, we got our two blast furnaces. The reason I made two is because I actually want to replace one of ours right here with a blast furnace. Hey, there we go. He's all cured, but I'm just gonna- I'm gonna move him later. I'm too lazy to do it right now, but there we go. There's our blast furnace inside there. He should turn into an armor when I get him up. Finally got our villager inside of the villager cage, and now he is in armor. Let's check out his trades. Oh, he's got some nice trades. Everything is only one emerald. That's actually insane. I gotta grab a couple of these. Day 74 was just filled with capitalism, man. Those trades were so insanely cheap. When we got to the diamond armor sets, they were also one emerald each. I was super confused why, because, you know, usually it takes two cures or so to get it to one emerald. I think it had something to do with, like, villager gossiping or I, I don't know, something I read on Reddit, but... Yeah, it, I was pretty happy that it was only one emerald. And that night my inventory was just completely filled up with just junk of armor and all that kind of stuff. I'm probably gonna throw it away one day. On day 75, I went over to my carrot farm because we haven't tended this thing this whole episode yet, so everything was fully grown. It looked amazing. But that's when I spotted an enderman holding another grass block in the corner of my eye. You know, I had to get this dude. Those grass blocks are pretty fire. Well guys, there's only one more thing I want to do before we end off this episode. I'm just gonna harvest all of this stuff. Dude, if I keep on expanding the sugarcane farm every episode, this thing is gonna get ginormous. It's gonna be crazy. Hey yo, the cow's spinning in circles. What's poppin'? There we go, we got a crap ton of sugarcane from that. That's pretty sick. Oh wait, I just realized I forgot some water buckets here. Hold on, let me fix this. But yeah, I think we are so ready for the next episode, guys, because the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Ender Dragon. So having good gear is very really important, and I, I need a helmet still, but I haven't really I haven't really had time to trade with this guy today. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of Ender Pearls, though, because we're going to need to make those Eyes of Ender. So maybe we're going to have to start breeding these villagers, because honestly, breeding them might be one of the easiest ways, because we don't have to waste a Golden Apple and a Weakness Potion. But yeah, I chose the armor because armor, I think, is probably the most important hardcore, you know. We gotta make sure we're safe, that we don't take damage, well, we don't take that much damage. So then hopefully we have a lesser chance of dying. And yeah, this Blast Protection 2 should keep us safe from creepers, hopefully. But yeah, guys, this has been a really fun episode. Oh, I did not mean to open that chest. But yeah, guys, this has been a really fun episode. I hope you guys have all enjoyed it so far. And I am so excited for the next episode where we finally take on the Ender Dragon. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is the final episode of the 100 day series. I hope you guys are all ready for this episode. It's going to be an epic one. Hopefully today we can go and fight the Ender Dragon. But first we need our necessary ingredients, which means probably some Ender Pearls. So I'm going to try getting a Cleric. I'm going to give one of these guys three bread. I'm going to give the other one 12 carrots. And I need to make more beds actually, and then they can breed. Okay, now we good. I got another bed, so hopefully they can breed while I'm away. Because a Cleric Villager could be pretty useful for us. Because I don't really want to grind all those ender pearls and finding endermen. Let me let me check how much I have right now. Okay, yeah, we only have a single ender pearl, so I think this cleric might be needy. Alright, so I just grabbed a book and some lapis to check what the enchantment was, and it's efficiency 4. So I think I'm just going to grab that, and okay, sharpness 3, what? Bruh. I'm probably going to put it on top of my pickaxe. 
Oh wait, I don't even have an anvil yet. Okay, I'm just gonna save this then. What's gonna happen to the sharpness three when I put it on my pickaxe? Will it just go away or will it be a sharpness three pickaxe? That would be kind of weird. Well, if we're gonna be trying to fight the inner dragon, we should probably get ready on our gear and stuff. Cause right now my armor isn't looking too good. I got blast protection two, protection one, protection three. Yeah, we need an upgrade on that desperately. Hopefully we can manage to do it in this 25 day time span today. Oh, and also a bow. We're gonna need a powerful bow. None of our bows are enchanted, but I do have a Fletcher, so I think he sells an enchanted bow on one of his last tiers. I'm gonna go check with him. Oh, what? They already braided! Dude, no way! That was so quick. That was actually insane. I'm, I I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, our Fletcher's right here. We got power to punch one. Okay, that, that's a pretty good start. We can go, we can go with that. Dude, I'm so happy that we actually got a baby. Sick, dude. I, I can turn into a cleric. For the rest of the day, I placed a brewing stand inside of our villager compound, which definitely needs an upgrade. Like, honestly, this it doesn't look too good. I also went down into the mines to see if I could find some gold, because I wanted to make some golden apples for this fight, just in case, like a backup. It was honestly just a waiting game now, because the next thing I wanted to do required my cleric villager and getting all those ender pearls. I went back to the nether on day 77 while I was waiting for this baby villager to grow up. Because I need some more blaze rods, I only had 7 back at home, so that would only give me 14 blaze powder. I was gonna need a little bit more than that just to be safe. I spent a lot more time in the nether than I originally planned because I was making like a better path to get to my nether fortress just to make it a little bit more safer. Alright, I'm finally back home on day 79 and I got 9 blaze rods with me. My shield is pretty low right now. I had to use it against those blazes a lot. Alright, well our baby villagers should now all be grown up and be turned into a cleric. Our cleric finally was up and running. I had to waste a lot of emeralds. And when I mean a lot, I used all of our like 50 or so emeralds just to level this guy up. We really need to get to those ender pearls right now. Yeah, and that night I needed to do some trading to get those emeralds back. On day 80, I realized that our expert level cleric actually gave us one emerald for eight water bottles or just clear, clear glass bottles. I think this is a better income than the sticks, so I should get to work. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I literally live like four blocks away from a freaking desert. Alright, um, yeah, one of my villagers accidentally escaped, but he was a smart one and he just walked right back in, so thank you for that. Well, I finally upgraded up our cleric villager and I realized something. I realized that this cleric villager did not come with an ender pearl because the second to last level should have given me an ender pearl, but it didn't. I think it was like a 66% chance that it does, so that is kind of unlucky. Now I have to go do this all over again. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. On day 81, I captured a villager and I made him go down into this deep hole where I killed him so no other villagers could see me do this horrible act. By the end of the day, our baby villager was back. Day 82 was just filled with more trading while I was waiting for our baby villager to grow up. I gathered up a hefty amount of emeralds a day. Thank you. Day 84 was spent grinding up our cleric villager back to where it used to be. Hopefully this time we actually have inner pearls. Alright, this is the moment of truth. If we get ender pearls or not, come on. I really don't want to do this a third time. Oh, thank God. Let's go. Oh my goodness. We, okay, this is, I really did not want to do this again because I have a whole schedule lined out about what I'm going to be doing each day. And if, if this didn't work, my schedule would have been all messed up again. Thank goodness. Okay, let's grab our two ender pearls and I need to go get some more emeralds to trade with this guy. Let's go, dude. I'm so happy. Good thing my villager still had that one glass bottle trade because that one was like probably the most useful because glass is just so easy to get. So on day 84, I copped ourselves a brand new Thank bow you. along with some more Thank ender you. pearls and gave our carrot farm a little trim and now it's looking pretty clean. And I wrapped up our day with some good old mining. I wanted to make an anvil. Alright, let me grab my book and we got our anvil down. Let's see how much this costs first of all. Oh, it's only four. Okay, good. It, it removes our uh, sharpness, which we don't even need. So it just gives us unbreaking three and efficiency four. I will take that pickaxe. Wait a minute. If I buy two of these bows, can I combine them? It's probably going to be like 50 levels though. It's okay though, because we got our mob farm. It should be okay with any level issues. All right, let's buy one of these. All right, I really want to see what happens if we do this. Oh yeah, it just, it just combines our power. Oh no, and punch. So now we have power three and punch two. That's insane. Okay, I'll take that. Maybe an unbreaking book would be nice. That anvil is going to be pretty useful for us in the near future because I my armor just still sucks, man. There is no way I'm pulling up to the Ender Dragon wearing like Protection 1 and Protection 2. I'm just going to get destroyed, dude. I honestly had no idea how I was going to get all this god armor in a couple of days time. I figured I was first going to level up my armor villager. Let's see what kind of armor he has in store for us. Okay, so I have an idea. 
Right now, my helmet is trash. We're not going to need that, but I got three diamond helmets right here. And if we combine these, that gives us protection three, unbreaking three. And if we combine it one more time, it should give us prot four. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, I need another prot two one. Hold on. All right, now I'm back with another prot two. So if we combine these two prot twos, we get a prot three. Oh, we don't, we're not going to have enough levels for this. But yeah, it only costs 12, but then we'll get a prot four. So I'm going to try to go for that. After a bit of mob grinding that day, I finally got enough XP to make my Prot 4 helmet. And yes, I do listen to your guys' comments, so I made a grindstone to disenchant the unneeded armor. Day 86 was just me grinding out to get some better armor, traded with our villagers a bunch, disenchanted a bunch of trash armor, and enchanted some more using our enchantment table, trying to get a better enchantment. I said enchantment like 30 times in this sentence. Here were some of the best enchantments that I got during that day. On day 87, it's time to get some gold and some diamonds, because for the gold, we need to make some golden apples just in case there's like a backup, and we need diamonds for a diamond sword. Alright, so I got my ores cooking over there, and I don't know how I missed this, but I already had two diamonds inside of our chest. I, I completely just looked over that, I guess. So, now we got four extra diamonds. Well, anyway, while these are cooking, I'm gonna make my diamond sword, and hopefully we get a good enchantment from this. Just need to grab my lapis over here real quick. Alright, what do we get? Knock back to oh dude come on bro all right i'm gonna go for it and then i'm just gonna disenchant yep that was that was complete trash okay so we're low on some xp so i'm just gonna grab our cleric dude over here i think he sells bottles of enchanting yes sir i don't know how much i'm gonna need i'm just gonna buy them all screw it i don't think i needed that many actually oh wait what okay that gives you like nothing never mind okay now we good let's try this one more time Knockback 2 again? Are you joking, bro? Oh, okay, this is this is just messing with me now. This, this, this is not okay. It took a bit, but I managed to get a diamond sword with sharpness 4 and fire aspect 2. No one breaking, but it's alright, because hopefully sometime we can add on to it. Alright, I think it's probably time to start heading out. We're pretty ready, gotta craft these eyes of ender. 16 should be enough for us. Oh, I'm excited, dude. Hopefully we don't die here. That would be a pretty tragic. Day 90 was just traveling to get there, and same with day 91. Thank god I actually had enough ender eyes to get there. I also brought a bed with me just in case I had to sleep through some nights. And yes, sir, I finally got there. These ender eyes were leading me to the exact same location, right around this, like, sandy thing. Well, here we are. We now are actually inside the stronghold. Time to get exploring. I've already got some pretty useless stuff, like some gold, some bread, like an iron pickaxe, and now we are here at the library section. Oh, that was a silverfish. Let's see what kind of goodies we can get inside of here. Piercing 3, smite 4, and looting 2. Oh, looting 2, that could be good on my sword. When we are going to get those skeleton heads from the nether, what are they called again? Oh yeah, wither, wither skeleton skulls. When we need those, looting will be super helpful for us. That was a mistake I made last season. I, I barely used the looting and it took legit ages to get those skeleton heads. After a lot of exploring and treasure hunting, I finally came across the end portal room. My inventory is a mess right now. Hold on, let me just throw away some of this stuff. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be needing most of these things. I'll throw away the seven redstone as well. All right, yeah, my inventory should be clean enough for now. But this ender portal frame thing doesn't even have a single eye of ender in it. Good thing I have enough though, because I think you need 12. I didn't know it was possible for it to be like spawned with none. I thought I had to at least spawn with one or two. That's kind of unlucky, but it's all good because we got enough ender eyes for this thing. Boom, there we go. We got the black void. I think it is our time to shine.
and there it is. That is the Ender Dragon defeated for the second time on this channel. Now, I was just in awe, and you'll see in this replay that I do something really dumb, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I spotted an Ender Pearl right there, and I walked into the portal as soon as the portal, like, activated, so I kind of missed out on all the XP, but it's okay. When we go back to the end to get the Elytra, I can just grab the Ender Egg, and I'm guessing the XP is going to be gone by then, but if it's not, it's it's okay, because we still got mob farms and XP farms that we can build. Yeah, I, I hope the Dragon Egg is still going to be there, though. I'm pretty sure it stays, though. Day 94 was just getting back on track and, you know, just planning some new things about what we should do up next. Alright, well, I'm having some plans about the future of our, like, kind of base. So, obviously, we're gonna need a proper housing for our villagers here if we're gonna want to get some more villager stuff, like mending, obviously, is one of them that I want to get. Yeah, I don't think- I don't think we can keep them living inside this villager cage for much longer. Oh, wait, I just realized we have four beds in there and three villagers, so I think I'll go breed these guys. In the meantime, just so we can have one more baby villager while I work on this new house. So I'm thinking of it just kind of expanding like my pathway this way. There's a lot of open space back here. I feel like this would just be a nice spot for just like a little villager house. I'm gonna actually try to make it a lot a lot better than this, obviously. So I'm just gonna dig out this little space for our villager compound. I think it's gonna look pretty cool next to our mountain house. Okay, I got this like main plan kind of thing laid out. It's only gonna be this big, but I'm planning on doing floors and maybe like a little basement area, which is where most of them are gonna chill at. So this path kind of goes up this like a little hillside. I'll have some stairs, trap doors, just to make it a little bit more smoother of a transition. And then we'll turn to our right over here and then I can add some like bushes or something in the front to make it look a bit nicer. And yeah, I'm actually super excited for this thing. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it this episode, but hopefully next time if you guys want to see it. And also I added a little pathway down this way. We can have some buildings or some like storage, anything on both of these sides over here. And I probably will either demolish this or keep it here as kind of like a monument, you know, just to show like what our first villager compound looked like. But yeah, this base, I'm planning on just expanding it more that way. There's a lot of planes that way. And then there's some sand places over here. Um, I could have like a cartographer trading center over in that area because it is just like sandy, you know, there's gonna be glass for days over there. Alright, so I know I just started this house, but I'm already liking this design. I tried to go with something different by using birch this time instead of the usual like normal oak I always use, and this is turning out to look pretty cool. Alright, I want to show you guys what kind of design right now I have for the floor. So we're gonna walk right in, we got some like weird kind of oak kind of design right here. Oh, there's a creeper. Hey, yo, chill out, bro. Let me just, let me talk to the community right now. I gotta show them what I'm doing. All right, so we walk in. This is gonna be a staircase, so I'm actually gonna, like, dig this out, and it's gonna go downstairs. I've decided to just make this one floor, I think. Unless I want to make a staircase on there, too, and it could be, like, a huge kind of building, but I don't, I don't think that's necessary right now. I want to make this downstairs, and then all this stuff I'll fill in with, um, birch, birch planks. And, yeah, that's kind of the floor design, and these are gonna be where the windows are. I haven't fully done this yet, but, like, yeah, I don't know. You guys kind of get the idea. Alright, well, I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse of me just filling in the ground. I'm not gonna use replay mode because, like, this is just, like, a really small project. I'm just gonna do the flooring. That's about it, so, yeah, just enjoy. Alright, I wanna show you guys the progress on our new house. Um, let me grab some wheat real quick. I'll tell you guys in a second. So, on the sides of our villager house, we got two by two windows. I decided to do that because it kind of like centered more and then right here I'm thinking of maybe expanding the house that way more I was gonna have this open as like an option if I ever want to in the future just in case like you know this house isn't big enough but yeah we got more windows more windows this is gonna be the front door haven't completely done that yet but basement still haven't done yet but this thing is looking pretty cool I never usually build with birch because in my opinion I think it's like way too bright of a wood I don't know I I just don't really like using birch but honestly I might start using birch more because it just uh, it looks cool it gives it like a kind of modern luxurious feeling oh yeah and about the wheat i want to go find some sheep because i want to make a sheep pen just for some like you know just more wool production we don't really have a way of getting wool right now i'm gonna go see if i can find some i couldn't really find any sheep nearby me last night but the next day i got a couple so we all good all right so i have these guys trapped inside this little pen on the other side of the villager house i already breed one up there we go we got our first baby sheep here but next up on my plans is maybe just, I don't know, I kind of want to go in the nether, see if I can find some netherite. I probably won't, to be honest, because like last season, I don't think I got full netherite everything until like day 470 or so. Like, I don't know, it was kind of a low priority for me last season because I didn't really need all netherite tools. We only have five white wool, which would only make one bed. So, okay, maybe, maybe netherite is not such a good idea right now. I think we'll need a lot more wool first. On day 98, I got myself a smithing table right here, as you can see. Because our baby villager is finally born, I'm gonna place down a smithing table so when he wakes up, or not wakes up, when he grows up, he should turn into a toolsmith. I'm just gonna place that right there. 
And okay, you, you better be a great toolsmith when you grow up, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna have to transfer all four of those dudes into here as soon as possible though. Probably gonna use minecarts. The easiest way, in my opinion, could just because I've had a lot of experience using them. At the end of day 98, I added some little things to our brand new villager house. Just some more layers of wood on the top. On day 99, only one more day from reaching 100 days survived in this hardcore world, I chopped down some trees because I needed some more sticks to sell to our villagers, because to level up our toolsmith we were going to need a lot of emeralds. Thank you. 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 Alright, so the day is about to end. The sun is setting. I'll recap what I've done so far. So pretty much, I, I, I mastered up our um, Fletcher to Master level. And now he sells us arrows of slow falling. Kind of random, but you know, slow falling arrows, that's pretty cool. Over here, our, oh, that, that's our armor. My bad. Where, where's our toolsmith? Oh, this oh this is him. Alright, um, yeah, I, I can't buy these anymore, but we've got some Unbreaking 1 axes. Like, not, not that helpful, but you know, free axes, man. I needed a replacement anyway. Now, he's really close to leveling up next. And hopefully we get some nice tools out of him, but right now I think it is time for us to all go to bed. Well guys, we have finally made it into day 100. Let me press F3 real quick so you guys can see. Yeah, there it is right there on the left side of my screen. Day 100. It's taken me about a month to get here for like playing and editing time, so it's kind of been a journey. But yeah, I think we did pretty good in 100 days. I know in my last season, I'm pretty sure I did a lot more in the first 100 days than this one. But I'm trying to go for more of quality this season and less of just kind of speedrunning everything. So expect to see some nicer builds, some just better overall contents for this season, I hope. Okay, wait, this path kind of is weird. It's like too blocky. I'm gonna, maybe I should just remove this part of the path. Yeah, well, do you guys want a 200 days? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, wait. Bruh. What? I just realized I don't have a skin on right now. Okay, I already know the comments are going to be telling me that because I probably missed that the entire video. Yeah, my skin just died for some reason. Alright, well anyway, do you guys want a 200 days? Let me know down in the comments below if we can get 1,000 likes on this, 200 days is coming. Yeah, but I'm super excited to see what our world would look like on day 200 because honestly, bro, there is going to be so much progression since we got most of the hard work out of the way, like getting tools, getting armor, all that stuff is pretty much good. Diamond is going to be good enough for now, I'm sure. Netherite is definitely just like an extra kind of thing, but still will be helpful for us. Yeah, well, that's probably going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next 100 days, if we do make the next 100 days, I'm planning on, first things first, you know, moving out of our, like, small hobbit hole here. Because it's it's a tiny house. We, we, need a, we need a more luxurious lifestyle, man. Yeah, okay, I've been, I've been talking too much. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.